Hi, I'm Danielle, and I'm an IBD dietitian. This video shares the key things to know about intermittent fasting and ulcerative colitis, including the significant differences between the types of intermittent fasting and whether or not they actually help with UC flares. Intermittent fasting has become a popular diet regimen. It's a diet that alternates between short periods of fasting with either no food or a significant decrease in calories and periods of unrestricted eating. There are many different types of intermittent fasting, so let's compare the different types and how each may affect someone with ulcerative colitis. There are many different methods of doing intermittent fasting, so this YouTube video will go over the main differences between four different types, starting with time-restricted fasting, which is the most common type of fasting. It's when a person's eating time is limited to the time of day by having set fasting and eating windows. There are two different methods that are typically used for time-restricted fasting, the 16-8 method and the 14-10 method. Some of the most common ways are only eating between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. for the 16-8 method, and only eating between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. for the 14-10 method. Alternate day fasting is a type of intermittent fasting approach that consists of fasting on one day and then consuming a regular diet the next day. It also involves a modified version of limiting the calories on the fasting day to 500. Then there's the twice a week method or the 5-2 method, which is a type of fasting that involves eating a maximum of 500 calories on two days a week and then consuming a regular diet the other five days. You can choose whichever two days of the week to fast, as long as there's a non-fasting day between the two days. And finally, the 24-hour fast, or eat-stop-eat method, which is a method of complete fasting for a 24-hour period, typically done once or twice a week. Can you fast if you have UC? While you can fast if you have ulcerative colitis, there hasn't been a substantial amount of nutritional research conducted yet to show that it's beneficial. People with UC are at risk for nutrition-related problems related to its disease and treatment. Depending on the degree of the disease, this can look different for every person. What's important to keep in mind is that there's no one specific diet to treat inflammation caused by UC or put it into remission. People often fast not only for religious reasons, but it's become a popular form of losing weight. When a person begins to fast for a short period of time, this can produce what we call ketosis. Ketosis is when the body doesn't have enough glucose to provide the body energy, so it uses stored fat. The reason I mention this is because when the body is in a state of ketosis, along with consuming fewer calories, it can lead to weight loss, which is already a common symptom of UC. Here's what the research shows with intermittent fasting and ulcerative colitis. A few of my studies have shown that a fasting mimicking diet may be helpful for those with UC. However, no research has been conducted on humans yet. Therefore, we don't truly know if fasting is beneficial in humans with UC. In a recent study from Northwest a and University and Cornell University, they found that time-restricted fasting and restricting calorie intake decrease colitis inflammatory markers and oxidative stress in the gut and brain. In another study conducted by the Shanghai Institute of Nutrition and Health, it was discovered that two cycles of fasting significantly improved the symptoms of UC by improving stool consistency and rectal bleeding. Not only did the fasting show anti-inflammatory activity, but it also appeared to enhance the repair process of the damaged intestinal tissues. Does intermittent fasting help ulcerative colitis? With UC, the colon is inflamed, causing tiny sores or ulcers. The main goal when trying to manage UC is to decrease that inflammation. When it comes to fasting, Research has shown that intermittent fasting can benefit people in the general population, but it's lacking with people who suffer from IBD and UC. 
While we saw earlier in this video that there have been a couple studies that have shown intermittent fasting can decrease inflammation with UC, there's also been evidence that there's no significant change when comparing inflammation markers between two patient groups with UC, one on a regular diet and one on an intermittent fasting diet. Research aside, people with UC may already have nutrient deficiencies or may be underweight. By trying intermittent fasting, this may result in further nutrient deficiencies or weight loss. So with limited research, it's unknown if intermittent fasting can help you see. More research needs to be conducted for a professional recommendation. What about fasting during an ulcerative colitis flare? When a UC flare is active, symptoms that were in remission return. These symptoms can include diarrhea, abdominal pain and cramping, rectal pain and bleeding, fatigue, and urgent bowel movements. During this time, the colon is extremely inflamed. Fasting can lead to unintentional weight loss, a hallmark of malnutrition. Additionally, fasting can heighten other concerns such as irritability, fatigue, difficulty concentrating, and overeating during non-fasting periods. Instead of cycles of restricting and very large portions, it's recommended to eat slowly and consume smaller, more frequent meals and snacks throughout the day. Sometimes a lower fiber diet may temporarily be recommended during a flare for short-term control of gastrointestinal symptoms and to reduce the amount of stool output. So with an active UC flare, it may be more helpful to reduce fiber intake temporarily rather than focus on the timing of eating. So what's the take home message for intermittent fasting and ulcerative colitis? At this time, there's insufficient evidence to recommend intermittent fasting for people with ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. More research is needed to determine the safety of intermittent fasting for the IBD population. Talk to your dietitian and or medical doctor before making drastic dietary changes. Have more questions or concerns about nutrition for your ulcerative colitis? Let's chat. Visit my website, eatwellcrohnscolitis.com to book a virtual consultation.